iRISC is a project where people from multiple disciplines are combined to find answers to the same problem, what is the pathogenesis of AMD. So we have, we have geneticists, epidemiologists, we have basic scientists, and we have computer scientists doing in silico modeling. And the combination of all these disciplines uh, is really bringing us much further to provide these answers. My main role in IRIS is to look at computational models of how we can express the complexity of the disease by understanding all the different elements. We can f find the critical bits that we need to change to stop the disease from progressing. I'm Imran Angel, one of the PIs in IRIS. We are combining clinical and basic science expertise to try to answer some of the underlying mechanisms that underpins the development of age-related macular degeneration. We are now at a stage where we have a knowledge framework which helps us to understand AMD better. The next step would be to turn this knowledge into medical guidelines, into defining targets for therapeutic intervention. So if a person would have a high genetic risk, we can advise a person to, for example, alter his lifestyle, uh, quit smoking and uh, eat healthy and that could reduce a particular individual's risk to develop AMD. Having seen some of the data from the latest um, laboratory results and the translational medicine part of IRIS project, I'm very positive that we will have some strategies that we can uh, translate to patient-related outcomes within the next 10 years. My expectations are that we come at the end to tangible outcomes for um, uh, scientific, medical and uh, patient community. I think we understand much more of what's happening in AMD and so we now and uh, increasingly have tools that will certainly uh, come to prevention methods and also probably uh, new treatments. And also with treatments that uh, increase the clinical benefit to the largest number of patients. Currently, uh, the actual treatments, they don't have the same response in all treat the patients. I'm quite confident that, I don't know, in 10, but 10, 15 years, I think a lot of people will not suffer this, this disease. Because in fact, we already did it. Uh, not much more than 10 years ago, a wet AMD was a catastrophe, uh, incurable and manageable disease that was causing blindness to our patients. Something that I already seen in the last couple of days with the IRIS meeting is that it has been very fruitful to work with so many scientists from different backgrounds and I see only bigger steps ahead so that we can all face together and I'm very positive about that. Mm -hmm.